We saw her blast off into space just one week ago. Southern California native Katia Ekazareta became the first ever Mexican born woman to take flight into space during that flight. Now she's here with us this morning, joining us live to tell us all about it. Good morning, Katia. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We love your energy. And of course, we want to know, tell us all about this experience. I mean, other than it was absolutely amazing, <laughs> it's truly been the the most life changing experience of my life. But I think that the thing that just remains with me and it's it's very lasting is that view of our planet from the outside. It took me about three days to be able to fall asleep because every time I closed my eyes, I would just see the planet and the clouds swirling around and I didn't want to stop thinking about it. I can imagine now, I love seeing that smile on your face in those <laughs> pictures. You are just simply exuberant. NS-21 is Blue Origin's fifth mission with citizens on board, normal civilians like yourself. Now, what kind of research and training did you have to do to prepare for all this? Yeah, definitely. So my mission is a little bit different. I am the first in a program called Citizen Astronaut Program, sponsored by a nonprofit organization called Space for Humanity. Mm -hmm. This organization aims to send people like me who have proven to be leaders of our world to have this experience, become transformed and come back empowered to continue doing some change for the world. So part of my training with Space for Humanity was just learning how to be present in the moment, how to fully soak it all in and be ready for an experience called the overview effect, mm -hmm. which a lot of astronauts have claimed is a, a cognitive shift that occurs when they're able to look at our planet from the outside. So my training has continued after that to try to make sense of everything that I saw, that I experienced and be able to put it to words. But with Blue Origin, we also received some training in order to be able to successfully carry out our mission. We received training on both nominal situations, if everything goes well, and then also training on emergency situations, which is very necessary to, to know, to understand, but especially to do it over and over, to have it as muscle memory. Mm. That way, if anything does come up, you know exactly what it is you need to do without getting scared or getting nervous or anything like that if an emergency does come up. Yeah, certainly an empowering experience like you were saying, and it looks like you were the only woman on that flight. So what do you want to say to other women aspiring to go to space and get into space research? Well, first of all, I want to tell them that it is the most fun I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. It is definitely a, a dream worth chasing. I, When I was a child, I was constantly told that it was a dream for children. So I'm hoping that through this experience, a lot of women are seeing that that dream for children can turn into a dream for adults and then a reality for adults. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for sharing your story and your extraordinary experience with all of us. We wish you a great Saturday. Thank you so much.